and then she fucked him. I don't mean she fucked me, I mean she fucked me. You won't believe this, but I was in clover at the time. I mean, knee deep. A smart lawyer with a great future making money hand over fist. So why, huh? Why? Why she beautiful? Beautiful? Yeah. But she had class. Clean and cold and hard. <laughs> I think I told you. The whole thing started in this very bar. Figure it out for yourself. You mean it's all over? There's a clever boy. But you can't mean it. I was never more serious. There's somebody else, isn't there? Yes, love. It's Mark Jago, isn't it? Yes, love. But you said it was all over between you two. I ran into him last week. And I found out that he's still the one. He's coming to New York on business. And you're going to provide the pleasure. That's right, love. Besides, he's better at it than you are. Two-timing bitch. You are not my husband. No, poor bastard. He doesn't know about Mark, and he doesn't know about you, so let's just keep it that way. Okay? Goodbye, Lee. Don't think it hasn't been fun. Nick, I've saved your ass on more than one occasion. Now there's a little favor you can do me. Yeah? <laughs> and there's something in it for you. Like what? There's a man called Mark Jacob. Wait, 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 wait. Mark Jago. J-A-G-O. Uh -huh. He's coming to New York in a couple of weeks, and he always stays at the Cumberland Hotel. Cumberland Hotel. I want you to get to the manager. Now, I want his room put under a 24-hour surveillance with bugs and TV cameras, and I want a tape of the action. Sex action? He's having an affair with a woman called Holly Levin. Now, he'll do anything in the world to protect her. She's married and she's rich. What's in it for me? Plenty. Jago's got a pocket full of construction contracts and they're worth a fortune. You catch him and Holly Levin fucking, he'll be eating out of your hand. Nick, it's big money and legitimate. Look, I gotta be uptown. I gotta get a haircut. Hold on, Nick. There's one more thing. <sighs> Who are you gonna use? Jim and Archie. Kim? Shit. Look, is that girlfriend of yours off the drugs yet? Hey, look, that's none of your business, but she is. And Archie, are you sure you can trust him? Archie's my boy. Oh, I hope you're right. Hey, uh, what's in it for you? Revenge. The lady's a bitch. She double-crossed me. I want her screwed, her boyfriend screwed, and her marriage busted. I want her to crawl back to me on her hands and knees. <laughs> and you'll take her back, eh? No, sweetheart. Revenge is sweetest when it's cold. When she comes crawling back, I'll piss on her.
Hey, Kim, come here. Come here, honey. We're supposed to test everything out, aren't we? Sure. For ten million dollars. Give me fifty bucks for it. Just being in the same room with you is worth fifty bucks. Come on. So the stage was set. And then the damnedest thing happened. Mark Jago, you see, wasn't due until the following morning. So the manager left the room for the night. And the young couple appeared. She was a pretty little thing. He was a good looking guy, but a little, uh. You mean he was a fag? Close. But he rose to the occasion and on TV. Nervous as hell. But he's a fag. So what's wrong with poetry? What I can't figure out is why she's going to so much trouble as to do some bad. Picasso is a pig. Sex for him was a was a spectator sport, with Kim as the solo performer. Well, it can be fun sometimes. <laughs> Believe me, she earned a hard dollar. What is a terrible girl like you doing in a nice black male caper like this? What was Nicastro like? Nick? He was straight out of a 30s gangster movie. A cross between Eddie G. Robinson and Attila the Hunt. <laughs> oh, but I could handle him. I had his number. How's it going? It's fine, Nick. We had a dummy run last night with a young couple. It was perfect. Well, don't get too confident, stupid, or you'll mess everything up. You're a real sweetheart. The way you treat that girl. Hey, when I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. What's happened? Mark Jago's due to check in soon. Everything's ready to go. Shut the door, for heaven's sake. Uh, it's me. Same old Holly. Plain as ever. God, that feels so good. I can't tell you how I missed that face. It's in hell without you, too, Mark. 
I'm sorry, darling. It's just that I need you. I miss you. It's been like an eternity without you. got one hungry woman on your hands. <laughs> Don't give a shit. All I know, Mark, is that you started something that you are not man enough to finish. If you light a fuse, you expect an explosion. Ah, oh, shit. There's some things are getting good. She used everybody. Her husband, her lovers, her kid, everybody. She used people like, like toilet paper. <laughs> That's right. She wiped her ass with people. Holly? I'm hot, damn it. I don't understand that. H-O-T, hot. The opposite of cool. Why did they eat? Because I need a man. Oh. Uh, what happened to the great lover? I'm totally pissed off with the great lover. That's what. Oh, well, uh, hi, Holly. No, I'm just a little bushed. It's been a tiring day. Oh? Still mad? No, I'm not angry. Of course I want to see you. Of course. Gun out? Wonderful. No, I just don't understand. It's not like you. I get uneasy when guys like you start behaving decently. Oh, <laughs> No, I mean it. So, Nick now decided to cover his bets. Just in case Holly didn't show up again, he hired a pair of two-bit hookers to go to the hotel and ball Mark. But the best laid plans often get mislaid. Do you know Robert Burns? No. Does he come here? Not a lot. How you doing, Muff? Hi, Nick. How's Tim? Oh, forget it. Oh, uh, this is Sandy, the girl I was telling you about. Let's take a look at you. <laughs> She'll be Dynamite! Crazy. She's a dancer and everything. Do you think you can act like a chambermaid? A chambermaid? Uh, well, yeah, sure. I've done that kind of thing before. You know, I had to do a lot of that stuff before. I was working in this massage parlor, and guys would come in. They wanted me to be different kinds of girls, you know. One guy wanted me to be a, a school teacher. This other guy wanted me to be a governess. And I even had to be a nun. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, listen what I want you to do. I want you to get over to the Cumberland Hotel on 68th Street. There's a guy called Mom Jago here. I want you both to ball him. Oh, lovely. <laughs> See your manager. I'll give you the uniforms, I'll show you the room, I'll tell you what to do. Okay? Okay. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, come on. Yeah. You can split. What 
What's wrong? Do something. Fix it. Maybe the camera inside is the potato. Well, the other room is empty. Go on over and see what's happening. Up now, Could you come back in a 15 minutes or so? Then oh, it... please, sir. Come on. It's our last room. Give us a break. It'll just take a minute. Hurry it up, will you? about this big orgy, food orgy. I, I told her all that. They had the caterers come bringing all these bananas. <laughs> tell them about the bananas. No, I can't come tell them about it. Uh, well, they <laughs> had this one part where they put, uh, these two girls put, one of the girls put a banana in the other, you know, the girls. And, um, and then they, uh, the other girl peels the banana and eats it out, eats it out, of, you know. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't know. And they have this one part where they... Sweetheart, eat sweetheart, would you clean the room, please? I'm in a hurry. Well, aren't you interested in sex? Not right now. Hmm. you have a light, please? you have a Thank you. Oh, I've been so tense. Well, you see, uh, Sandy and I are Navy wives, and the boys have been away on a long cruise. And to be frank, it's pure unforgiveness frustration, right? That's right, Ma. Uh, Ma? Oh, Ma's my name. This is Sandy. Uh, my husband says that's the best thing about me. So, Supercock Archie was starring in the Castro's great sex movie. <laughs> when Nick got to see those tapes, he was going to go berserk. But Archie didn't give a fuck. He gave two. <laughs> Man, I've seen enough of you to last me a lifetime. Why didn't you just piss off for a couple hours? There's nothing happening now. Mark won't be back for a while. Do me a favor. Just get lost. Meanwhile, Kim was empty. Scratch. So she called her medicine man. A subhuman little creep named Angel. He was out in the street peddling his pain. <laughs> but he promised to keep his appointment in Samara.
doing here? Come with us first, so she didn't need me. Schmuck! I told you to stay with her! What was I supposed to do? Fight her? Asshole, when I say stay, I mean stay! You know she's up to something. Come on, let's get out over at a hotel. Yeah, well, I'm out there scratching and hustling for my own self. Here's the bread. Yeah, all right. Give me the stuff. Look here, why aren't you going to invite me in? I want to get next to you, baby. Mm. Sorry, Angel. I can't. You don't get salty, bitch. When Angel came out, Mercy Wagon was waiting. Nick was out for blood. Kim was his chattel. And Angel had been feeding her habit. Deep trouble. Understand? Thank you. 